Hello and welcome to this tutorial for App Inventor's Track Your Exercise. Uh, let's start as usual with a new window and we're searching for Code Club projects. It takes us to the Raspberry Pi website. Now, this is not actually a Code Club project, it's a Coda Dojo project, but thankfully now they've merged into one and handled by Raspberry Pi. We can just go at the top and go into Coda Dojo and this is going to be a App Inventor for Social Enterprise. And then this is the second one, Exercise Tracker. Now, the interesting thing here is that it actually doesn't, this doesn't tell you where the App Inventor is. So, you know, as part of this introduction, let's just go quickly, let's find it. So if you just Google App Inventor, and you will find us the first result, appinventor.mit.edu. That's uh, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. If you go there, um, we can jump straight in the big orange button, create apps. And this will ask me to use a Google account to sign in. So on Scratch, you have to create your own account. For App Inventor, you can use your Google account. And since, well, by virtue of us all being in Classroom, we presumably all have Google accounts. Uh, if not, you'll need to ask one of your parents to create one. Um, so that's mine. I'm just going to go hop straight in. And the first thing it tells us, um, there's a little splash. Oh, it's actually showing the one I was doing earlier. The little splash is quite useful. Um, I'm not sure about the App Inventor Gallery, but got an Android phone or tablet, find out how to set up and connect an Android device. I'm just going to click on that, opens up in the new tab. Um, I can do it option one, recommended, instructions. You can follow the instructions here to download the MIT App Inventor to Companion from the Google App Store. I've got this on my on my phone and that way you can test your your apps actually in on your Android device phone or tablet um, I think we can jump straight in with the first page so this is what it's going to look like when it's finished this is like an exercise tracker along the line of Fitbit or fit Google fit and fit fit this and fit that this is to enter minutes you sort of you're entering your minutes you've done every day and it will sum up uh, what you've this is not interactive that's a bit of a shame but it will sum up um, the total of your minutes and then you, know, you can record a motivational message uh, sure then there's a graph in here so let's see what we will learn take text input from the user and display it storing information in a list using a loop to read the elements of the list saving information to a file on the phone loading and displaying information from a file making your own procedures wow this is complex isn't it? using the phone sound recorder and playback a sound you have recorded so yeah this looks pretty far out doesn't it um, so here we'll see go straight in with the recording exercise now you'll see that unlike the mm, unlike the code club project the code of projects are probably less um, easy to pass because like they don't like link you to where you need to go so you will need to search for app inventor and log in with your google account so just click the big create apps button um and i so have i have my old get fit i'm gonna no 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 um just go back to my projects start a new project uh get fit get fitter right <laughs> So we've done that. Create a new project and give it a name, for example, Get Fit. App name might get fitter because there was already one. Click on screen one under components and change the title property to track your exercise here. Okay, so this is this is pretty involved. App Inventor is is very foro. I mean Scratch is a more like a toy. This is like a proper development environment. Um, but essentially there are so two sides to it. The designer side, where you can, you know, create your own interface with you know bits and bobs and just drag and dropping your your stuff in there i'm making a whole bunch of just gonna <laughs> blank everything real quick and then you have the blocks uh, page right here and this is very much like scratch but better you can see it comes from the mit as well and yeah we've got we've got not only you and it uses the same color and your control are vaguely orange Logic, the booleans, that's, that's, that's green. Math, which is, you know, the <laughs> move and behavior. Um, text, lists, dictionaries, colors, variables, procedures, or functions. I guess if you want to call them like that. And then the various little indentations and shapes here, like a jigsaw, are to tell you what can go where. So instead of just going down like in scratch you can go down you have to you have several places in which you can go sideways and so on it's like very 
powerful, but it can also be fairly complicated. Anyway, let's just crack that. So, screen one on the component. So that's our first screen or sole screen so far. It, it will be and everything. There'll be a hierarchy here. We go in here, um, and it's about the title, which is all the way at the bottom here on the on the right. Those are all your, the properties of the. You select your component in here, and then the properties tab all the way on the far right will be the list of the properties of the selected component. So, so far we only have the whole screen, the whole screen is a component, and we're going to... Um, is it log track? Log or track? Doesn't matter. Track your exercise here, exclamation mark, because... So it's, is it refreshed? Yes, okay. So now it's it's appeared. Track your exercise here. Excellent. Uh, find the text box component in the palette and add it to your app along with a button. So the text box component is a user interface block. Text box is here, along with a button. There's a button component as well. Just check it in here. Now, this doesn't look like how it should, because we really want the button to be here, but we'll see in a second that we need to use a, what's it called? Horizontal arrangement, which we will find in layout. So that's the next tab over. Layout, horizontal arrangement. Check that at the very top. This is like an empty box. And then within that, we can we can put various things. So if you just drag it in the text, and you have them side by side. Um, now this is where we're going to log our minutes. Um, the button, the text of the button should say enter. I've not done that. That was before. So select the button. You can you know select this button and either straight on the uh, the markup on the viewer or on the components. Make sure you have the button selected, and you're looking for the text which is at the bottom, and this should say enter, and this now says enter. Uh, on the hint property for the text box and type minutes. So again, the text box is here, and the properties are always on the right, and the hint is towards the bottom, and we're going to say minutes. Now this doesn't show here, I think, but you know when it's running, hopefully it should say minutes. Check the box that says numbers only, so that only a number can be entered in the text box. So again, that's a property of the text box. We've got the text box selected. Uh, numbers only. That's this one. Uh, great. The user can type the number of minutes they exercised for. Now we want to save that information when they press the button. Switch to the blocks. Now that's important. We'll see that. And take out a when button dot click. Now, switch to the blocks. That's, that's cr crucial. Here they are. At the top right, designer and blocks. Your little backpack of things and